I always dreamed of playing in the NFL. I always just had faith that it was gonna happen one day as long as I kept working hard and you know everything worked out and, and I'm here today. Oh yeah, time to get taped up. You know, you're three and four. People can trash the Bucks nationally if they want to. I don't think the Bucks are a bad team. They're not. And should be in first place in this division. They they have done it to themselves. Hey, go. Who's gonna get them out of it? They are. We only get 17 opportunities to show, you know, all the work that we put in. Why not give it your all when you're out there on the field? You only get 17 opportunities and those aren't even guaranteed. So you gotta practice that way. Like you have to have that mental ability when you're uh, playing the game. I prefer being a guy that's accountable, that shows up on time, that does extra work, that uplift their teammates. I also believe that, you know, you gotta actually do those things. You can't just talk about it. He's all about ball. He wants everybody to match his intensity. Y'all should want to play in this, man. We dreamed about being in this, man. Antoine may not pile up tons of interceptions, the ball is out. but no safety in the league does more than what Antoine does. Get out deep. Knocked away in the end zone. What a play from Winfield. All day. All day. Cousins is dead. Antoine Winfield Jr. comes away with it. No, I'm just trying to get active, bro. Antoine Winfield is everywhere today. He's played fast his whole career. His dad obviously taught him a lot of football. And he plays so much like Big Twine. He got so much heart, and he can just play with everything he got. The only thing that's going through my mind is, let's get this ball away. You just never say die. That should raise the standard to everybody. If our best player is defending every blade of grass, everybody should be doing it. Whenever you need him, he's always there. Somebody flash the Batman signal. Hunting for the ball. As October winds down, the tables have unexpectedly turned in Tampa Bay. The same squad that sat on top of the division through the first quarter of the season is now on a three-game slide. Chris Godwin. You look around and there's guys who, who have gone through adversity and they've experienced how to get out of a hole when you're doing silly things uh, to cost you in games. So the core of the team has been through it. This is not a young group that, that's going to start to to hang their heads. They can't. They can't. There's too many games to play. What do they play? They have 10 games still. And one of the bright spots for the Bucks has been third year safety, Antoine Winfield Jr. It's right out here today. You can have a good defense. You can be solid in the NFL. You can be solid at every position. But to take it to the next level, I think you have to have a couple playmakers. You know, the guys that you can count on to make the game-changing plays on a regular basis, the guys who come up big in the clutch moments. Antoine Winfield's teammates know that he's that guy. I think from his rookie year, he's grown from a film study standpoint. As he's getting older, he still plays very fast, but he doesn't have to just jump at everything. He can be a step slower because he sees it mentally a step faster. The best thing for me is just the study habits that I've created over time. Get out there. That's it. Those also develop as well, like how you're studying and like what you can actually use, because you know, we're throwing a lot of information, you know, teams like do this, this, and that, but how can you retain all that information? What works best for you? He's our best open field tackler physically. He's also one of our best blitzers. Him along with Devin and Levante, he can get to the quarterback, he can beat a running back, he can set up offensive linemen. He gets there so fast that his power is and his speed and he's so compact, he knows how to lower his shoulders at the right time and make plays. My best ability is my versatility. Antoine Winfield from his safety spot. If you need me in the middle of the field, I play in the post. If you need me to blitz. Knocked away at the last moment. You see him breaking up a pass in the end zone. Antoine Winfield ran 50 yards to knock it away. You see him at the edge of the line blitzing and tipping a ball that Will Golston intercepts. I take the assist. 
Or you see that amazing play against the Falcons when he hustled across the field to poke that ball out just before the goal line. That's a bad day. That's what they call a hustle stop. According to NFL Next Gen Stats, Antoine Winfield is one of the league's leaders in that category this year with 11 of them. You never know what can happen. If I break right now, like, you know, a ball can pop up in the air and, you know, I can, it could be an interception. I credit that to my practice habits. I do the same thing in practice. When men win talk, it's always about how we can cheat to steal a turnover. Trying to bait the quarterback knowing when he can jump a ball fast to when he can't jump a ball, the splits of the wide receivers. We always try to look for tips. <laughs> Every time I'm in practice, I'm literally looking to create a turnover. Winfield is something else. He is, he is. And I'll tell you what, he does a really good job of it here. He disguises that so well. Completely surprised Josh Allen. When he's playing coverage, he looks like he's blitzing. When he's blitzing, he looks like he's playing coverage. He does a great job of cat and mouse games with the quarterback. There's only two players in the entire NFL up to this point who have multiple stats in tackles for loss, quarterback hits, sacks, force fumbles, fumble recoveries, passes defense, and the only other one is T.J. Watt. And if not, I'm not mistaken, I think he was the NFL Defensive Player of the Year last year. So this is the kind of impact that Antoine is making in every part of the defense. Oh, oh, look at my baby. If this is not the most adorable, look at my son when he was just an infant. This was before Big Twine got drafted. This is when we were struggling, when we was eating meatloaf every day, okay? This is, this is where this picture came from. Oh, two bedroom college apartment. That is, that's the, that's the tweez I know right there. That's my baby, okay. He came out the womb with a football, Antoine did. He used to be a two year old and Big Twine would hike the ball to him and he would be like, do me dad, do me. That is Antoine when he was maybe like two or so. Uh, Big Twine was playing for the Buffalo Bills in this picture. I remember we had just moved to Buffalo and not them having on the same boots and the same jeans. I hate that for my life, okay? <laughs> you know I got a great support system. Um, they're all team Winfield Jr. as my mom would say. Um, <laughs> Look at my babies. Oh, this is, look how raggedy this picture is. Look at the teeth, I hate it. The teeth, the dimples, grown man right here. He been grown. So after my dad retired uh, with the Vikings, we wanted to move somewhere warm because we were always in cold states. It was really between Texas or Florida, we ended up uh, moving to Texas. He was so ahead of his time, wanting so badly to just be somebody and to just be the best him. Texas football is the real deal, I'm not gonna lie. We had football as a, a class, like so, but that's how seriously we took it. I'm still pretty much my same size, so I was always a little guy out there. His motto was no days off. I don't know who, where he got that from. Saturday workouts, Sunday workouts. My mom, she's the one that, you know, took me to all these camps trying to get my name out there to get to, you know, a college and things like that. Come on, Tweez, ride your bike. Ride your bike, son. Get your bike on. Tweez came from Big Twine. All right, so Big Twine used to be Tweez back in the Buffalo Bills days. And then, honey, we just gave it to Lil Twine. My dad has a background in football, so, you know, all the football stuff was right there at home. So if I had any questions in anything that way, you know, I could always go to him. Max Protect. Look at the quarterback. It's so bomb watching him. It's so much fun. And he plays so much like Big Twine. He got so much heart. As soon as he step out, yeah, he QB. He knew what his purpose was on this earth. And he has definitely proven that he was meant to be a football player. My fun fourth grade writing. Come on, Tweez, no! <laughs> Dear Mr. Winfield, I am writing to inquire about your job with the Vikings. I would appreciate it if you write back. And let's see what Big Twine responded and said. Okay, handwritten I might add, okay? Who handwriting anything these days? Dear Mr. Winfield Jr., I hope you are having a wonderful day at school today. 
My best friend on the team is Big Pat Williams, number 94, yes. I have known him for a long time. We played together for five years in Buffalo, New York. The fastest, fastest runner on our team is, of course, all day Adrian Peterson. I would love to say me, but as you get older, you start to lose your speed. Well, thank you for writing me. If you have any more questions, feel free to write again. Sincerely, number 26, Antoine Winfield. Tell me that ain't the cutest ever. Tell me that ain't no coming back. Drop the mic on that one. We dro I'm dropping the mic on that. We dropping the mic. Dropping the mic. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Little juice. Antoine Winfield Jr. is back in Texas today, and he's looking for one thing. Hey, Juice, energy, man. Yeah. Need to feel y'all today. Let's have some fun today, make some plays. Let's do it. Takeaways, takeaways, takeaways. Only oh, thing that should be on your mind. When we spoke to Todd Bowles about his squad, he said, look, we went back to the basics this week. Fundamentals, do what we did the first four weeks. Don't try to do too much. He sensed that over the, this three-game losing streak. Get back to blocking and tackling, old school football. Let's see how it pays out for Tampa Bay. Hey, watch the screen. Second and 10 from the 25. Stroud, feeling the pressure, gets out of it. Stroud buys time and will throw it a wobbler out of bounds. Listen, 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 listen. So sheets of pressure, Shaquille Barrett among those there. This defense is very proud and it's a productive unit. Hey, third and 10, let's get off. Third and 10. Stroud, there's the poise and the throw is on time. The ball gets away. Schultz coughs it up. The Buccaneers Whoa! have it. Let's go. Tampa Bay forces a turnover on the first series. It's Antoine Winfield Jr. And it's his third fumble recovery of the season. Best in the NFL, plus nine turnover differential. The Buccaneers do it again. The punch out from Levante David. Tay! Tay! That's how you start a game, boy. Hey, man. Next time we get a takeaway, go to the end zone and let's roll the boat or something, bro. I was, I was with Somebody, you, I know, I look back, it's only two of us. I know, I know, a little energy. Second and goal. Mayfield caught, extending, touchdown, Buccaneers. Cade Otten, the tight end. After three weeks of searching, the Bucks' offense seems to have found something on the backs of Cade Otten and Rashad White. Tampa Bay looking to cash in. It's White. Easy. White. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Second of the day for White. If the defense holds, the team is one play away from going back to Tampa with a win. Hey, they got 10 seconds. They're going to take some shots here. They're going to take some shots here. And now, can they win it? Trout to the end zone. Touchdown! You know what I always tell Antoine? I'm like, listen. Do you think you're gonna be blessed with all this talent, all this money, all this fame, and not have to pay for it some kind of way? It's definitely gonna be a cost that you pay. I have no idea what it's going to be, but you better be careful and you better be aware. No way God giving you all this stuff and not making you go through something. Morning, guys. <laughs> guys, we're not far off, okay? You just have to pick each other up. There was a lot of good sh we put on tape. A lot. We put a lot of stuff on tape. The small things, look yourself in the mirror and bounce. We just need energy. Talk to the guy next to you while you're out there. You never know who you're picking up. We can't afford to be down and out. We're right in the thick of the race. We lost the second quarter. That's all we lost. We got a whole half to play, and we're down by one game in first place. So you look in the mirror, right? You look in the mirror, and you come back. LeBron missed a shot. Jordan missed a shot. I mean, other than me, I might be the only f guy in here that's probably never had a bad game. Break it up. <laughs> Todd Bowles told us he looks at the NFL season in quarters. So the Bucks had a good first quarter, a rough second quarter, but now it's halftime, and Bowles and his staff are making adjustments and they expect this team to come out strong and fast in this second half. It's still wide open in the NFC South, and they're not out of the playoff picture. 
Good. Hey, I understand the focus level. I understand. It. Trust me, I understand it. But have some fun, Ooh, man. Yeah. Have some fun. Yes, sir. Kid at the playground today, man. Have fun. You know what you gotta do. Let that sh loose, man. Let your hang all day. Let a mother feel it today. All four quarters today. Don't hold back. It's no tomorrow. Tomorrow not promised. Take care of what you gotta take care of today. Let's go. Come on. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Win. After the results of last week, a lesser team would fall apart. But this isn't a lesser team, and Levante David knows that. A pitch to Henry. Levante David comes up to make the play. Come on, man. Tell me. You have Levante David, who is moving up the list on the all-time Tampa Bay tackle list, can play sideline to sideline. It makes it so much easier. The benefit we haven't talked about yet is Vita Vey in the middle. He eats up the offensive line. Third and goal here. David, Devin White, these guys can run and absolutely fly, and you're going to see the get off. Ah, ah. So out comes Baker Mayfield, who a week ago in Houston, his second consecutive game without an interception. On second down, nice catch by Mike Evans. Stretching out to the 32 yard line, a gain of 16. Mayfield has time. And throws right back to Mike Evans for a first down. Out of bounds in Tennessee territory. Be him. Be him. Hey. Be him. Be him. Be him. Be him. him. Feed the beast. Feed the beast. Feed the beast. Green 80. It's up. Here comes Jeffrey Simmons, Mayfield, able to get it to White, and he's got room to run. Rashad White inside the 20, the 10, 5, dives, and he is in for a touchdown! What a play by Mayfield to get rid of the football, and Rashad White does the rest. A 43-yard score. So he's able to put the Jets on and take it to the house, but really good design, really good timing from Dave Canales. Some way, somehow. Early on, it seems the Buccaneers have the game well in hand, and that's when things get slippery. Levis, and that one is almost intercepted. Off the hands of Westbrook Akine, and Antoine Winfield Jr. nearly picked it. Well, this is a lesson learned for a young quarterback when you're driving the football off play action over the middle of the field. I, I hit it before you hit your... You, I, I didn't touch the ball. I, I know. I tried to tap it to myself. Careful, cut. Mayfield to Evans, and it's broken up. Nice play by Roger McCreary to get a hand on that one. Yeah, I mean, pretty good throw, and in front gets a head, you know, hit two, two hands on the football. He's usually a sure catcher. Had some drops this year, but he's a high-volume guy, so even with a drop or two, it's somebody who never stopped targeting. Yeah, pass. Yeah, it's like, a, you know, like, arrow concept? Yeah, yeah. But Mike's going to, like, bluff it in and go to the back line. Okay. So hopefully it's quickly quarters, and the, Mike jumps it in and see if he gets wide. Right. A little like quarters. Nice. Yeah, this quarters. Midfield to the end zone. And it's dropped by Mike Evans. Evans with his second drop of the day. Nobody was near him. Come on, my boy. Come on, now. You good. Keep going. Keep working. You got it, bro. Come on. Yeah, he was down on himself earlier. He was sitting over there by himself, and I didn't like the, the look, the image. But then Baker Mayfield comes over, 
and starts offering encouragement. He's, he's telling them, I'm coming right back to you type of thing. That's a big pickup for Tennessee. They have been stacking offensively. They keep the drive alive. Levis back to the air. Henry out of the backfield. And he is tackled by Levante David. That was really close. And this is a heck of a tackle by Levante David. Third and 11. Blitz is coming. Levis zips one. Nearly intercepted. Right to Levante David, but he could not hold on. Once again, pressure on Will Levis, and it's fourth down. Damn, Tweez. What happened? I didn't see it. Did you tip it again? Yeah, I just dropped it. And just like that, the Bucks get a grip. Third down and five. Mayfield Evans, he caught this one. Midfield. A big ovation for Evans, who goes for 27. Yeah, even though he's dropped a couple of passes, this Tampa Bay faithful love him. Second and eight, Mayfield to the air. And he's got Godwin for another first down. Godwin's fourth catch today. This one goes for 18 yards. Mayfield to Evans again at the five. Muscles his way. might have a play here or there or a drop here or there as it's coming on during the year but dragging guys into the end so this is what he can do uh, oh, oh the team uh, oh yeah a third down and a touchdown no let up no let up no let up no let up take away three and out take away three and out take away three and out second and ten six and a half to play levis there you go, Tweed. It's up for grabs, and it's picked off. Antoine Winfield, Jr. On the return with blockers ahead. And Winfield is tackled at the 42. There you go, baby. Come on. We going with it. Come on. That pressure for Tampa Bay's defense has been all over Will Levis all day. Pressure bust pipes, and the Buccaneers defense has gotten close multiple times. This one was the easiest one that Antoine Winfield will have all season long. He was trying to give you time to get there. I was trying to get him time to get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't. You already have your chance. Yeah, yeah. Today. I'm like, yeah, yeah. why'd you break up? Looking at you the whole time. <laughs> I know, right? About time. We were like, about time. He doesn't catch that. Yeah, I'm proud of you. It was like, time. keep going, man. No matter what. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to catch this ball. That should do it here in Tampa. This was a big performance for this defense. They needed this one desperately to stay alive in the NFC South. Nobody is really running away with the division right now. If you're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, what you're saying right now is, why not us? Right? We got in last year with a sub-500 record. As long as we get things back on the right track, anything can happen. That's a hell of a job coming back. I told you the answers are all in this room. We got all the answers. That's a hell of a start to the third quarter of the season. We got eight of these games to go, but we take them one by one. We play like that with that kind of effort, and for the most part, mistake-free football, we right where we need to be. Yes, sir.